drink any of the weed. You follow this. Uh, I believe that both of those things are real. Take Kenny and me, for example. Kenny and I met at a mushroom for gymnastics. The mushroom was a little piece of gymnastics equipment that you could circle on. For years, we competed against each other for different gyms, and it was really not until Kenny approached me and in front of me that we became friends. Mind you, gymnastics really is not a team sport. No matter how you look at it, you compete on a team, but in essence, you're still competing against each other every time you get on a bench. However, with Kenny, it was different. He really cared how he was, uh, he really cared how his teammates did, and how I did. The same way he had the palm of Mars, which included the mushroom, was definitely my worst event. Or at least I was scored over on that event compared to everybody else. When I was younger, I always had this one judge on palm of Mars that always gave me low scores. Later, I realized it was Kenny's dad. And that's it. I actually saw the car Anyways, I like to go on to Kenny again. Kenny and I used to go bowling about once a week when we both had time. A group of us were bowling and it was always a great time. And one night, for some reason, it was just Kenny and I bowling. While we were bowling, Kenny continued to look at the dark hair girl bowling next to us. As the story goes, it was this. Kenny couldn't do anything but stare at this. That was all I didn't care about for the rest of the evening. Actually, I think that was the only time I beat you. <laughs> that same girl Kenny was scaring, she was related to one of the kids Kenny coaches at his gym. So we talk about this thing. Somehow Kenny gets to talk to her and they find out that they were three miles away from each other. And it's fake what happened. Furthermore, I don't even know how long, come to find out, Kenny and Liz's parents live about a quarter of a mile away from each other. But I guess the way I see it is, someday that when you really try to look back in your lives, you will probably realize that prior to that night of bowling, you ran into each other three or four of other times prior to that. And you never realized it. It was just a matter of time for the both of you. All I can say is that by the time Kenny and I were bowling that night, I wish you guys were already born with us. You guys are wonderful, and together both of you have met unbelievable people. We will be great together, and thanks so much for being the greatest friends that you are again. Please raise our voices, our glasses, and come stand with us for letting us all be a part of your life. And a wonderful night and our future together. Thanks so much for everything.